It is a great Sunday morning for us uh, here in sunny Florida. I wanted to share a few things with you uh, in regards to electric, some of the stuff that we've been up to at Electric All Wheel, and then just generally what we're finding as we're talking to people, especially in the community groups, out actually on the trails and understanding what it is that people want. So we have here three electric XP's. These are 2.0's and this is a original XP. And they are super popular. They're economical, you get them at a fair price, and then the customer service for electric is unbelievable. So the only downside to them is the fact that the batteries are 10 amp hours and a lot of people are longing for a, a longer ride with their electric. And Electric acknowledged this by actually putting out the electric long range battery for their bikes. And I believe it retails at 500. There's a discount, I believe, if you just purchased into a bike or they'll give you $100 off. And then Electric is always running a good special. So it's there, it's $400. But the one thing that I don't like is having to open these up if you have a second battery with you and then replace that with a second key. I would just prefer to keep going and I honestly don't want to pay $500 to do that especially when that comes out to half the price of a new retail. So it's been this notion of how to add a second battery and we made a video about that with a dual battery discharge balancer and to those of the, you who watched and gave comments we listened. So the main comments we got were you don't have to solder and and they're right right there was really no point in that at the time i had what i had and i just wanted to see if it would work and then in my head it was a straight line shot rather than intervening but in the actuality what we have done is going to make it a lot better and a lot easier for a lot of electric owners if they choose to go this route we're selling this all-in-one plug-and-play kit that gets you a second battery plug-in for your electric xp without having to make any cuts any soldering nothing it's a simple kit we made it all black we have two extension XT60 cables. We have the DNST plug female and DNST plug male and correct XT60 adapters to make the plugins. The actual work took five minutes to actually see it run and know that it was working and then another five minutes to get it all tucked away and buttoned up and put together. The better part of your time will be fitting the discharge balance in the housing and then making sure that your cables fit with the controller so you can get it, the plate back on and screwed in. So here we go. Alright, so here's your factory battery. Everybody recognizes this. We're going to unplug it. We're basically just going to match up everything we can. We're going to plug in the Dean's uh, mail into the factory battery extension. At that point, we're ready for connection for the uh, dual battery discharge converter. So on the side where you have the component, it actually says in, in, and then out. Out will be to the controller, and with that, we'll take and plug in our XT60 to Dean's female, and then we will plug that in to the controller. We're gonna plug this in to our electric battery, and then we're gonna take our extensions I'm just going to make it the max length to get it all the way through. Let's see, my extension's going to be perfect. I'm coming in from the back side of the controller housing. There we go. There we go.
So we can already see that we have power now. I haven't even plugged any of this up. I'm going to lift up the backside and then show everyone that it is working. So you're going to look for a wheel spinning. All right, and that's just from this battery here. We know that the factory battery is not in line and not connected, but there you have it. It was that easy. We're gonna have to fit that double battery discharge converter underneath the controller, button up the, the housing, and then we should be good to go. It was that fast. I really hope that this helps everyone out. We wanna check this out. We'll close this up and then we'll come back for it with the ride. Uh, it's just as easy as this too. You can slip it right in to your saddlebags. And there you go. From experience, I know that it's best to just fit the discharge balancer into the bottom of the housing and then just slip it down the line. When I do that, I'm gonna pull my slack out. And I know that it's sitting in there and then I'm going to get my controller into the housing as well and then I refit my cabling So keep in mind when you do this that there is an extension on the back side more to the left of the framing. So you want to get your wires to the right. There we have it. She's ready to roll. One thing to remember is unplug the second battery and make sure that your factory battery is turned on. Remember, you have to turn the key on to make sure that it works. And you don't want to be a disillusion that you're discharging from both and balancing from both until you're sure. So make sure your frame battery, your original battery is on and then plug in your second and then you'll have the situation corrected so you understand what it takes to make sure you're operating with both batteries. This was a really quick install. I hope you guys are as excited about it as we are. You can find this product on our website. We're hopefully going to get it on Amazon. We're going to try out the market first from the website, utilizing our Shopify, and then see what we can do from there. If we have a big buy out of it and everybody seems to appreciate it, then we will move forward with other packages that work for other electric bikes. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you next time.